hardly a morsel to eat nor a place to call home. Street children in our society have almost nothing to look forward to. Delhi, the Indian capital, attracts lakhs of street and working children every year. Though there are no official figures, NGOs estimate that there are around 1 to 5 lakh street and working children in Delhi itself. In the last five years, efforts have been made to strengthen the juvenile justice system. But the reality is still harsh for these children deprived of their rights and stuck in vulnerable situations. These children face the horrors of torture, molestation and sometimes even rape and have virtually no one to go to. Juvenile justice system, a collaborative approach to working with street children, is an initiative to address the problems being faced by these underprivileged children. A two-day workshop was organized on 25th and 26th May in Delhi's India International Centre by Chetna and Consortium for Street Children in association with Hope for Children and Bharte Kadam, a federation of street and working children. The interactive consultation between various other stakeholders examined the successes and the challenges faced in supporting street children. जितने भी दुकानदार हैं, वह बच्चों को नशा करने वाली चीजें ना दें और उसके ऊपर आप इस पर पवंदी लगाएं। जो स्टेशन में बच्चा रहता है, उसके लिए होम बनना चाहिए। बच्चे को पुलिस वाला ना मारे। सड़क के बच्चों को पढ़ाई करना चाहिए। नशे की चीज पर रोक लगाएं कि जिससे बच्चे तो सही बड़े भी नशा ना कर Day one of the consultation brought to the fore views of street children. The workshop gave them a platform to voice their opinions on the gaps which prevent them from realizing their rights. Children also raised the issue of inadequate family support to prevent them from going on to the streets. Lack of employment opportunities makes them a target of anti-social elements. Other serious issues like substance abuse at an early age and convicting those who sell such substances to children, continued abuse by those holding positions of trust including police and teachers were also raised. A majority, 80% of the children held the government as the most responsible stakeholder for their current situation. The two-day workshop recognized the key role of India's juvenile justice system in reducing violence within an integrated child protection scheme or ICPS framework. Child welfare committees, police, NGOs, DCPCR, NCPCR and Ministry of Women and Child Development Authority also shared their experience during the course of the workshop. The discussion ranged from sharing success stories, challenges and steps that needed to be taken in order to give a brighter future to street children. The major issues raised on day two of the workshop included the need for rehabilitation and not just restoration of street children back to their families, 
lack of funding to CWCs, massive workload of JWOs which are unrelated to supporting these children, management structure of ICPS not being fully functional, very few institutional homes, and the issue of unregistered homes run by NGOs. While heading the discussion process in the workshop, chairperson of NCPCR, Shanta Sinha said, Street children are not just marginalized, they are expelled by the society. It is a, a huge challenge. Uh, street children don't come all in one shape and one form. There's such diversity. Some of them are just entering into the city. Uh, some of them have been there, perhaps the second generation, living on pavements with their families. Uh, some of them are totally homeless and orphaned. Uh, some are under substance abuse. So each child is a history, has a case, has a history. And there has to be a plan for each and every child. There is no one size fit all. The need for collaborative working between the state, private and NGO sectors was acknowledged during the workshop. The Joint Commissioner of Delhi Police, P. Kamraj, said that there are many ongoing programs to sensitize police officers with respect to street children and that there is a commitment from the Delhi Police to continue this work to ensure child-friendly support from the police department. We are very strict and categorical in uh, saying that uh, uh, it should be the earnest endeavor of every police officer who is tasked with this responsibility of uh, taking care of the children, not to be in uniform. Somebody is tasked to go from the court, he better go and change, change his uniform and appear before the children as uncle. The consultation provided a platform to representatives of various organizations working for the cause of street children to bring to the table their ideas and thoughts on the matter. The topic of discussion ranged from success stories to gaps in combating violence and clarifying guidelines on shelters for street children. In this consultation, 40 child representatives, including children from 10 NGOs, participated. The participation of children in the dialogue process ensured that their views shaped the policies and the practices created to support them. Leonora Ball from the Consortium for Street Children mentioned that with the new United Nations recommendations and with good infrastructure, it is an exciting time for moving forward in realizing street children's rights both in India and across the globe. The information that we collect from these in India will be um, shown to our network across the world, so it will be made available globally. But most importantly, we're really working with the United Nations at the moment to keep street children on the agenda. And with the new United Nations study on street children, one of the key focuses is on child participation and how those voices then influence policy and practice. So this is a brilliant example of that actually taking place that we can reflect to other countries across, across the globe. The children really enjoyed that and also they came up with very concrete uh, you know, uh, uh, suggestions. For instance, uh, like uh, suggestions like uh, if the government can uh, keep check on the inflation, which was very tough uh, you know, articulation by the children and uh, we were surprised and we, when we triangulated, we found that yes, child has told that exactly, that the uh, government should have control on inflation. Also one major uh, outcome which we never discussed is the opening of rehabilitation uh, centers for their parents who are alcoholic. So, you know, there are very small, small uh, things which we seldom overlook. We just talk about the children and their homes, but these are the issues which are also uh, uh, hampering them. I think this was brilliant. The two-day workshop culminated in a unanimous agreement that the voice of street children must be given importance at every forum as children are the center stage of India's democracy.